Welcome. Uh, in this section, we're going to be talking about what to do if someone comes wanting to get into a small group or get into a ministry or we need to pass their information on to somebody else in order for some follow-up. So if somebody comes wanting to, to uh, they say, I want to get into a small group, you have your chit-chat time and, and uh, you segue and say, so you're wanting to know how to get in small group. Man, I tell you, small groups are amazing and you share your testimony. Let me ask you, which, which night... Uh, are not available for you. What nights can you not meet? And you're going to either uh, draw a line through those nights that don't work is probably the best thing to do. The reason we want that is, you know, they're going to mark two or three. Well, that gives us two or three nights that we can work with to find the perfect group for them. If they give us just one night, then we're locked into that, and there may not be a group that's a, the best fit for them. So we usually ask them what one doesn't work. And then the next question is about what, uh, what age group, 20s up through 60s. Uh, do they need a kid-friendly group? In other words, do they need childcare uh, while they're in study at that house or a neighbor's house, however that small group does it? And uh, if so, just real quick, t tell me the ages of your kids that you would need that child care for. Um, so those are the home groups. Uh, down below that, it says women's groups, men's groups, for Quincy Campus, Singled Out, Celebrate Recovery, New Life. That's a Wednesday night study at the Quincy Campus. And, you know, if it's for one of those, you're going to circle that. And, again, at this point, um, you might ask them, so have you filled out an info card? Do we have your information? And if they say yes, then just put their name, uh, phone number, best time to call, and an email. If they say, no, I really haven't filled out one of those, then let's go ahead and get the children's information, birth date, and, and the whole gamut of everything there. Okay, so uh, once, uh, once they've gone through that and they've indicated the night and all that, then you're going to explain to them the process, and that is, well, somebody will follow up with you uh, this week, and, and uh, they'll, they'll look at this, and they'll call you and get a little bit more information, and they're going to work really hard to find a group that's going to be a great, great fit for you and help you get into that group and get that leader connected with you. So it's, it, it's great. Again, small groups are amazing, and you're going to love it. So just expect a call this week, and they'll get you into one. Okay? So that's simply what we do in small groups. If they come wanting to get involved in a ministry, it's like awesome, you know, and you pump that up. And, you know, right now you're in a ministry, so you know what it's like to serve. Uh, but, you know, just some testimony about, you know, your life in ministry, whatever that might look like. And, again, it needs to be relatively short because this is about them. Um, a couple of questions that you need to ask is like, great, you want to get into a ministry. Then just in a relaxed way, it's like, so what's your passion? What would you like to do? What do you think you're really good at? And let them, you know, give you some, some input on that. Uh, another question I ask uh, quite often, and it'll probably be obvious from that first question, but if it's not obvious enough, I ask them, so are you more into people or task? And if they say real quick people, or they say real quick task, then you're going to know, I need to put that person in task. I need to put that person in people ministry. Now, if they sit back and, and hesitate and think about it a while, then you know that they're, they're pretty broad on where they would, should be able to play. But here's an important thing to that question. If they say, I'm more into people, then it just segues into, okay, are you, do you like the little tiny ones? Do you like preschool, grade school, a junior high, senior high? Uh, do you like working with adults? And one of those you're going to read, and uh, you're going to see when you say junior high, a lot of them will scrunch their, you know, up and take off running. Uh, but you're going to say one, and you're going to see it in their eyes. It's like, yeah, that's kind of it. And basically, you're going to put them, uh, you know, if they say, yeah, I think I'd like to do that, put a check mark. I do want to say two, at the, two is uh, uh, plenty, but never more than three ministries uh, that they should mark on this. So if it's people, you can do that, um, you know, on weekend ministries, uh, the crossing. Just make sure you look through this, this and study it a little bit. You pretty much should know what coffee bar people and usher, you have a good idea of what all of these ministries are about. What you don't know is details about scheduling and, and uh, you know, am I on for a month, am I on for two years, and then I get a break for a week, or what it looks like. Uh, so anyway, but you're just going to help them find that fit. Now, we do have this tool because you don't want to turn this around to them and, and do this. We do have this tool at all the campuses if they're... Uh, 
interested in some youth ministries, worship tech, weekend ministries, so you can put that in their hand, and you can talk through that with them uh, just a little bit and find out what they're interested in, and then make sure you mark it here. Again, ask them, so do we have your information, and in, have you filled out a card and given us all that stuff? If they say yes, then we just need a name, phone number, email, best time to call. If they say no, I haven't filled out anything, then let's get all their information. So mark two things, three things at the very most, and let them know. This does not mean, this is important, this does not mean you're signing up for that ministry. It just means you're interested in that ministry. A leader will call you and talk to you about that ministry, and if it's a good if it's a good fit, then they'll get you right in, plugged in, trained, and, and they'll take care of you. If it's not a good fit, that's fine. We've got plenty of ministries and places for you to plug in. So again, you know, just expect this week a, a leader's going to be calling you and talking to you a little bit about what that ministry looks like and what that entails. Okay, so that's that section. Again, I want to say if they come looking for small groups, we'll take care of it. But let's, let's ask them. So, uh, yeah, small group, that's great. So are you involved in a ministry? Um, because ministry is amazing. You know, I've been doing this and helping people, and it's just important. And, man, I'd strongly encourage you to get into a ministry. Would you like to talk about that right now? Yeah, I could do that. Or, no? Okay, read it. Uh, again, if they come wanting a small group and we take care of them, it's like, so have you been to Belong class? Uh, we'd really like to. Okay, good. Uh, so be, always be looking for next steps for them. Now, this last section here, uh, title would like more information about programs and or would like uh, the leader to follow up on the person now as somebody might come in saying I'd really like the children's person to, to call me that's fine what we don't want to do is put the work on the person coming to, to, to talk to you to give them the number and say here call the office and they'll hook you up with this person or here call that person we want to put the work on our end so that's why this section's in here. They might come requesting, I want the youth guy to, to give me a call because I have some questions. It's like, great, boom. You'll notice uh, ahead of each of these is an H and an S. H stands for head of household because celebrate recovery. Maybe it's just the head of the household or maybe it's the spouse that needs to have that conversation. So that, that's an important thing to, to circle there. If it's both of them, it could be either of them circling both. Uh, but that's what that's for. So they might come requesting something, but also you might have a conversation with them and you say, you know what, it'd be really good if the Celebrate Recovery guy would follow up with this. And I can, I can circle that and make that note and that'll go into the office and he'll see, hey, I need to call this person, see if they got questions about the ministry. So that's important. And then the last one is extra notes that you need to make and, and maybe they came for prayer and you're just going to write that down and that prayer thing will go into the office to our prayer warriors. And then the last thing is a place for your interviewer's name and, and the date in case we would have questions we know who to get a hold of. Uh, and then make sure you file this away where it needs to go and, and you're good to go. So I think that really takes care of the form. And uh, it's a great tool. Just sit down with it, be relaxed, just let it flow. Uh, whatever they come for, take care of it, but always be asking and looking for other things as well. I think that's it. We made it, we survived, we got through it all. So um, appreciate you guys and what you're doing. Uh, if you have any questions, just you know, get a hold of your campus pastor and uh, we, can, we can get those an questions answered. All right, thank you all. Have a good day.